Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Virgo. We're going to be doing your July 24th. We're going to promise you any replacements. We're going to take a look and see what's good that's coming towards you guys for July. And then we'll finish off the reading to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, or work on. Um, apply this to your own situations, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you need to take a look at your placement. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a short reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, or other YouTube channel, I'm dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box that will support me on there too. Okay, so if you guys are wondering why I'm whispering, I'm in the airport lounge right now. So I'm whispering because of that. If it's bothersome for you guys, it's okay. Click off. But if you guys really want to listen to this reading, hear it, um, try playing this on your laptop, desktop, or your TVs, okay? So, tell me about Virgo. What's good coming in for Virgo? What's good coming in for Virgo for July 2024 for Virgo? For Virgo. What's coming in for Virgo? Okay, so we have a jumper here. So we have the magician, Gemini Virgo. This is you right here. Seems like you guys are master manifesting at this time here. Wow. In a way, when it comes to life here, when it comes to your money, your finances here, your material goods, you're hitting the job pop here. Things are going really well, okay? So, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely manifesting the reality, the life that you want, and it's happening for you guys for a while. Okay, with the Two of Swords here. Two of Swords. We have the uh, uh, Five of Cups here. And the Three of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Okay. So, moving forward. You know, Virgo. You guys could be meeting a ton of new people here. Okay? You know, I feel like you guys... You know, one thing that really stands out here, even though, even though things are going really great, going really well for you guys, I do feel like you guys have a tendency to push or block out your emotions here. Okay? Your own pain, your own grief, and your own hurt. And I feel like you're being asked not to run from that. Okay? Obviously, anything that you don't move, it does become stagnant in your physiology, in your body. And what you don't move, you don't allow new things to come in. But I actually do see that you guys will be meeting new people in your life here for the month of July. Okay? With the King of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. Well, I mean, I feel like you guys are meeting new people here, but I also feel like you guys are not trusting people here, too. Okay, I mean, this could also be a potential uh, for a new lover or something like that. Uh, this King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, with the Empress, Libra, Taurus. And like I said, you guys are in the center here to see master manifesting at this time. You guys are attracting good energy, attracting good people here, but there's also an energy of not trusting it. Okay, you know, the Five of Cups, Five of Cups here, and the Six of Cups. Okay, it seems like someone here is regretting what they did here. Some here is coming out of hermit mode, trying to reunite with you, trying to reconnect with you here. So, Perhaps that is the reason why that you're not trusting this King of Pentacles that's coming in your life here. Even if there was new love coming in your life, I feel like uh, some of you guys don't really trust them or trust people in general. King of Pentacles here and the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here. I feel like you guys just rather stay in hermit mode here, okay? And just kind of stick stick to yourself and not really speak to anybody here. Um, really focus on your passions here. Really focus on your goals here and just continue to manifest what you want, okay? Which I feel like if you guys are feeling this way, or in this energy, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, what else do we have for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know about that for Virgo? I'm so sorry, guys. There's a lot of action here because there's a window here in this lounge and you can see everything outside of people just walking back and forth. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'm just getting really distracted here. I'm trying not to be. Um, perhaps I'm a really good multitasker. Okay, so I, I feel like I'm talking and watching at the same time. With the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, we have the Justice card and the Judgment card. Okay. 
Sagittarius, the energy of the Libra, energy with the Justice card, the Four of Cups here, and the King of Wands. Yeah, Sunday is definitely coming back around for a new opportunity here. I'm getting a bit of re reconciliation here, uh, reconciliation energy here, where someone here is definitely spying on you to see how you're doing here. I mean, they'll eventually reach out to you with some sort of communication here, wanting to get together, wanting to talk and stuff like that, okay, wanting to clear the air. It seems like this person does definitely want to speak their truth about their feelings here towards you, but I also feel like there's an energy, it's just too late, okay? This person kind of went towards a third party here, and, you know, the third party that may uh, work out, I mean, the third party could have been the karmic here, and this person could be learning some big lessons here. What else do you have here for? Virgo, we have the Nine of Wands here. Someone here is definitely, they're definitely in this energy of like, oh my god, like, Virgo told me so about this person, and now, like, you know, this has played out. You know, this person might feel like they're, like, an idiot or something like that. We have four wands here, and the nine of wands. I feel like this person, four is coming back into your life. This person is realizing that you are the one for them. Knight of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Wands. We have the Justice card here, and the Moon. Someone here. I mean, I, I feel like you might even find this amusing that this person is going through uh, the suffering here but i feel like you might find it amusing that or that you might find it for you maybe it's a good thing that this person's experiencing this because i feel like this person is fearing the karma that they are experiencing right now and the karma that or the karma that they will experience here the moon cancer pisces here the knight of pentacles tell me the judgment card why is the judgment card here and the king of swords Libra, Aquarius, gemini the four cups and the two of pentacles the king of wands here and the ace of cups the best part about this, when it comes to the situation where a past person is coming back into your life, some of you guys could be meeting somebody new here, a soulmate. There is new love coming into your life here, Virgo. Yeah, we have the Kings and Queen of Wands here. Yeah. We have the Kings and Queen of Wands here. You know, I feel like you are master manifesting, and whatever you're manifesting, it's materializing at this time here. Especially when it comes to love here, especially when it comes to your finances here, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. It seems like luck is on your side. Luck is in your favor here with the Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel like you've grown and evolved a lot as a person here. And I feel like you guys are in this energy of really staying your ground here. I do feel like whoever is coming into your way, we have the Kings and Queen of Cups. So I feel like a lot of guys are meeting your soul in here. This person's very loyal. This person's very sensitive. This person's very fun, very spontaneous. This person's very empathetic here. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do feel like, you know, a divinely guided soul is coming to your life. But if this is all you're doing, you're sort of like taking charge in your life here and you're just making things happen. All right. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.